This is Hydrogen Tap. I have found what I believe is the answer to the, some would call it an O-ring, that has to go and seal the top of the tube. And here's the answer, I believe. And you'll never guess what it is. I found a sink stopper that's that exact, it's that wide, it's about five inches wide and you have to cut it out but it's the perfect material and when you cut it out and stick it on top of here like this it makes a seal and it makes the seal really easy so when you strap down on all the Aaron cells they have these straps So this goes in like so. And it fits in really nice. And it doesn't take very much pressure once this gets Put down like this, it almost you almost can have it just sit on the top, and it, it's enough pressure to do the trick. Sometimes it is the simplest things. And that's it. It's a sink stopper. You can see how ply it is. It's rubber, but it's it's really pliable and it fits perfect. I've tried it already and it seals great. The question now is whether it will take the heat. We'll find that out later. One of the, the other things I discovered now is that in my test lab here, in order to get the test working right, one battery will not do it because the charges will not keep up with the hydrogen flow, not at anything above 15 amps. And I'm shooting for about 30 amps. So what I'm getting ready to do now is put these three batteries in parallel not series, parallel, they'll be 12 volts but I'll have the amperage of all three of these together so that the drainage will not be so bad and what I'm going to be doing on the test I'll be testing for short periods of time and then we'll just multiply it up and you can see as I've shown you before that all my batteries now I have this setup on it. This is really for another kind of battery but it fits really good here and uh, it works out just fine. So I'm getting ready to do the tests and as you could see in the last video we're I did use sandpaper across the plates. It looks to me like the plates work better without it. Another interesting challenge on my cell came across a problem the other day, yesterday to be exact. That was not all my cells were getting power through, not all the plates. It turns out that the space in here where this strap goes across doesn't always make a good enough contact. So I'm solving that problem real quick by putting two of these straps across it. And that'll take care of that. That presented an interesting problem. Another thing that I've come across here 
is this cell is so long, it's nine inches long, that when I put it into the when I put it into my tube, as you can see that I have a space here of about an inch on the bottom which I want to keep so it's hanging. In the top I have a clearance here. Actually what is the clearance? The clearance is uh, about two inches which really it should be longer than two inches. I haven't really decided on that yet, but it's looking like I should have about three inches clearance there instead of two. I've had a number, or I've had one or two people ask me about the spacing in this plates here. They are one eighth inch spaces and they're asking me what about the formula. What I'm going to do here is first start with the one eighth and then alternate one eighth, two eighths between each one. I'm convinced that it's really going to take a larger space between them. I'm starting with one eighth and we'll see what happens. The formula I have I know is right. It needs tweaking Actually what the formula is, is as you get more plates you need to space them farther apart. I don't quite know how much farther apart, but you definitely need to do that. All in all, this system is working out where it looks like it's going to be the keeper. And I am getting ready now to put my test rig on it and you can see how that works. I think I've sh pretty much shown how that does work. We're getting ready to do that and hopefully in my next video I'm going to show the cell working with that. What I want to get with this first cell is at least one liter per minute.